Scott's Robert still like with Blue Planet Surf. Today I'm going to review this motion ice paddle sensor that gives you some really cool metrics that you can't really get with any other device. So let's go over the functions, how it works, and how to use it. <laughs> All right, so basically the motion ice is a accelerometer, kind of like what your phone has in it that can notice which way it's rotating and so on and it measures um, basically all, the, all this data and sends it to your phone. So you have to use it in conjunction with your phone and um, you have to download the app, the Motionize app, or Superior it's called. And then um, this is the history screen here. Uh, if you go into history, you can see data from your um, previous runs. Like this was a run I did yesterday, a Dalman run. So you can kind of look at the map um, which has different colors for how, how fast you're going. So in the beginning we're kind of going slowly, orange and red, and then getting into the run going faster, which then it turns green. And then here we're waiting for some guys to catch up to us, and then going faster again and slower at the end. So that's kind of nice to see how fast you're going just visually. Um, it shows, um, you know, your active time, distance, calories. It shows strokes per minute, speed, heart rate, shows distance per stroke, and then uh, you can overlay like speed, distance per stroke, your heart rate, um, a lot of different, you know, the entry angle of your paddle. And then you can see um, left versus right. So this one shows on this run, I took 51 strokes on the left side and 49% of my strokes on the right side. Total amount of strokes taken. The entry angle on the left side and on the right side. So shows that I have a steeper entry angle on the left side, a little bit um, um, shorter on the right side. So that's interesting and shows the laps. Um, you know, for each lap, you can set the lap distance. This was 0.2 miles. So I can go through each lap and see where, where I'm at. And I guess it, it shows the fastest time for the split, um, your average speed, distance, um, distance per, per stroke, so um, that's pretty interesting information as well. So, um, so yeah, I find that this one gives me information that I can't get with anything else. So for that alone, I find it really useful. And it's relatively inexpensive. Like this one, this unit costs $100 with everything you need. The, if you buy a heart rate monitor separately, that's like another $25 or so. So for a relatively small investment, you get a lot of, um, a lot of useful data. So it comes in this little um, case here. It attaches to this paddle, uh, to the paddle, uh, with the little clip. So to take it off, you have to um, unclip it. It's like this. Yeah, take it off the. This part kind of um, sticks onto the paddle. So to charge it, you slide it into the charging base like this, and then it just connects with the USB cable to. Um, any USB um, charger. So I'm going to plug it into my laptop here for now. So this is how it charges. So it's really simple to use actually, you know. Um, you have to attach this to the paddle. You could theoretically use it without this base too, I think, but um, I've used it in the shop with my paddle trainer, so you can just attach it to a different paddle as well. But to securely attach it, you want that piece. Um, mine didn't come with an instruction manual, but you know, I have the link to um, for the manual, so online it, it shows you know, what's in the box, um, you know how to use it. So the first step is to download that, that app. It's called SUP, um, Superior SUP. You just look for that. It should come up right away or motionize. I'll have to charge up the sensor, and then um, you know it says to place it right under your bottom hand. And then you gotta clean it a little bit, stick on that, that um, attachment piece, and then has a little rubber band that attaches around it as well. And for best results, wait 24 hours after applying before entering the water. So it has a little clip up here that you have to push down to get it off. And here's a little tip for you. Um, this thing has really sharp edges, so when you're paddling and without the sensor attached, or if you're trying to t take the sensor on and off, I would recommend uh, sanding these edges off a little bit. Like I made the mistake of um, not doing that first, and then um, you know taking it off. I, I was holding this with my thumb and pushing really hard 
and then I, it ripped off a bunch of my skin up here. So what I did is um, just sanded these edges, um, sanded that sharp edge off these edges. Anyway, so you click it on there, and then it has it, this extra attachment piece here to secure it more. And, um, and that's it. Then you need to turn it on, you press it, and then wait for the lights to come on. And then one light blinking means it's, it's turned on. Once, once you turn this on, then you turn on the app. You make sure your, um, your paddle sensor is connected. If you're using a heart rate monitor, you make sure that's connected as well. So once this light is blinking, that means the unit's on. You just have to open your app. And then in the app, you open this little top right corner and it'll show the sensors. If they're not connected, you just click and connect them. So right now I have the paddle sensor and the heart rate monitor connected and showing the charge of the battery. To, you know, to start your session, you press start here and it'll start, start your session. Then while you're paddling, if you want to pause it, you press it twice and then uh, it'll pause your session and press it twice again to restart it again. So you, um, once, once you're paddling, you can turn this off, put your phone in a waterproof bag and just control it from the paddle sensor. Or you can mount your phone on your board. It doesn't have a horizontal view, unfortunately, so that's kind of one thing that bugs me that it doesn't have a view like this. My, my phone mount for the board is like this, so to figure out a way to mount it like this, but it'll show you strokes per minute and also your paddle angle and so on. You know, it can show you entry angles, stroke average, stroke count, distance per stroke, heart rate. So that's a lot of information that you could watch while you're paddling for like flat water training and so on. Um, but then you need to find a way to mount it. So for me, I just put it in my pocket and then uh, I can control it from the phone, pause it and stop it at the end of the session. So, um, so once you're done with the session, you click it twice, you press end and then it saves it to your history. All right, so let's look at another um, one from my history. This is a flat water paddle we did, our time trial. So this is like, like paddling out to the blinker buoy, coming back to the boat channel, and then it's like a two mile course. So for this one, when I look at the review, it shows me uh, that my entry angle is eight, per, eight degrees, um, strokes per minute, 55. Um, this was before I had the heart rate monitor, so it doesn't show the heart rate. But I can see distance per stroke, speed, um, and then left versus right. I find that interesting. It seems like I always paddle a little bit more on the left. 51% uh, to 49%, pretty close though. And then the entry angle is usually a little bit steeper on my left side than my right side. So I kind of know, okay, I got to work on the, my the stroke on the right side a little bit more. But I kind of know that my left side is a little bit stronger, but it's fairly evenly balanced. If this is way off, then you know you got to work on uh, kind of making your strokes more even. Then the, the laps, um, you know, it shows like the fastest and lowest uh, times in the laps. So that's interesting information as well. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. All the links are down below in the description on how to, you know, how to use it, the manual, where to order it, uh, where to get a heart rate sensor and so on. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please give us a thumb up, a big thumb up for the video if you enjoyed it and also subscribe to our channel. Alright, peace for watching.